Hi everyone, good morning, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. We're at a local shop today, and they called me in on this 2014 Dodge Ram uh, 1500 5.7 Hemi, 113,000 miles. Story with this truck. A customer was apparently just cruising down the highway, and then he said some warning lights popped on, his cruise control shut off, and he brought it to the shop. The shop said they scanned it. It had a couple codes, one for some oil pressure sensor, and then um, an ABS calibration problem. So they cleared the codes. The customer took the car back, drove it to his house and back, and he said the lights came, came back on. So we're here to diagnose the issue. Are these problems related? Well, of course, we're going to start with the full health report. And we do have a few codes. So PCM, one code, stored, oil pressure out of range, camshaft advance, retard disabled. Now, let's see, ABS, active steering wheel position sensor signal, bias level out of range, zero adjustment failure. That's an active code. And... EPS says invalid data received from ABS control module. All right, so um, did these problems happen at the same time, or are they independent? What's the main customer complaint? You know, if we fire the truck up, both the check engine light and the stability track light are on. Now. The initial codes that were set, the shop did send me a, a picture of the original codes, and they were, let's see here, there's the picture from their snap-on, engine oil pressure sensor performance, so 521, and then oil pressure out of range, camshaft advanced, retard, disabled, 1524, that's in reaction to this 521 code. And then the steering wheel position sensor bias out of range. Okay, let's um, well, let's start with this ABS code. Just look at the data. Look at the steering wheel. <clears throat> let's see, steering angle sensor, sensor calibration complete, <clears throat> steering angle sensor status. graph that so calibration passed steering angle sensor status invalid I'm not sure what that means so right now we're straight ahead so all the way to the right negative 500 back to the middle all the way to the left positive 500 okay so it seems to be working. Let's go into special function. Is there a calibration? Initialization, brake pedal calibration. Um, I mean, we could just try initialization. So, it says vehicle straight ahead. Yes, on level ground. Okay. That's it. Initialization complete. G sensor calibration on level ground. It's dinging and blinking and doing all the good stuff. Blinking again. Please cycle ignition. Okay. Engine must not be running. Okay. Test completed. Okay. Let's see if any fault codes are stored. No DTCs. 
Um, let's clear out this electronic power steering code. And finally, in the PCM, let's um, look at this oil pressure sensor data. So I'm going to clear that code for now. Since it was a stored code, it's not an active code. Data stream, just type in oil, oil pressure, VVT oil pressure, sensor voltage, that's important. Let's see, temperature. Well, let's just select all of them. Okay, we'll grab that. We'll start the truck up. So, two volts. And do we have a readout? There we go, oil pressure, 36 PSI. So I'm going to rev it up. Let's take it for a spin and see what happens. So I'm noticing when we're going straight down the road, the steering wheel is cocked to the right quite a bit. Let's see, let's uh, get into a straight section here. So it's maybe 10 to 15 degrees to the right. Could that be messing with the ABS system? Maybe. Also notice that if you're just cruising light throttle, it's kind of surging a bit. Maybe that's a, a RAM thing. I'd, like when you're locked up. It's like, uh, uh, uh. So, for the ABS problem, we'll look up that code, but I would definitely do an alignment. Uh, oil pressure looks just fine. 30 PSI, no issues. Alright, so, did a full code scan after the 10 mile test drive. Everything's green, everything's happy. Um, let's see how far off the steering wheel is in degrees. Steering angle sensor. So it says valid now. Before it said invalid. Okay? And we're at minus 20. So when we're driving straight, it's at minus 20 like this. So first and foremost, uh, we'll look up that code description, but this thing needs a front end alignment so the steering wheel is pointing dead straight when you're cruising straight down the road. As for the check engine light, and you check the engine oil, but they do, you know, every 5,000 miles, full synthetic oil changes. It's not, you know, overdue or anything, so I don't know what to say about that. All right, so I'm looking up this C0051-28 steering wheel position sensor signal bias level out of range. And so it's when monitored, driving straight, speeds above 9 miles per hour. A ABS module detects the steering angle sensor signals above then plus or minus 15 degrees of zero degrees while driving straight. Absolutely. We were over that. We are about 20 degrees when driving straight. So spot on the money there. Um, on any vehicle with a steering angle sensor, the steering wheel needs to be straight when you're going straight down the road. It can cause all kinds of issues like reduced power, the traction system will go nuts. It'll think you're skidding. So this truck needs front end alignment 100%. Um, unrelated to the oil pressure sensor code, um, let's take a look at, maybe there's a TSB for uh, these oil pressure sensors. I, I think on some years, uh, Chrysler products like, you know, 2000 whatever, 10, 11, 12, they had some issues with these oil pressure sensors. So I typed in oil pressure sensor. Let's take a look at service bulletins. So there's one for a P0520 stored in memory. It just says engine oil pressure sensor circuit. Not range performance, but you know, pretty close. Uh, this bulletin involves replacing the oil pressure sensor with a revised part. And the models that are affected is 2013 to 14 everything 
pickup trucks, Jeeps. There it is, our Ram 1500, 13 to 14. And this bulletin applies to all to vehicle models equipped with 2 liter engine. There's a 5.7 liter engine. Small number of customers may experience malfunction indicator lamp upon further investigation. Technician may find the following DTC has been set. And they just tell you replace. You know, there's the updated part number AA. It's actually an AB. So if you go to oil pressure sensor, this is the latest part number. All data provides that. Um, very handy to have. So my recommendation is for this vehicle front end alignment and a new updated oil pressure sensor. There's no you know wiring problems or anything it's um, you know if it glitches once in a while that'll set the check engine light and disable the VVT. So pretty straightforward in this one but without OEM service info again I like I said before without all data I could not do my job. And here we know exactly what to recommend to the shop and to the customer and the truck will be fixed back on the road. So thanks all for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Just a little follow up on the 2014 Ram Hemi V8. Uh, so it had a front end alignment done that took care of the ABS traction system problem. Uh, for the oil pressure sensor issue, the shop did install a brand new OEM upgraded replacement part. The customer drove it, and one of the codes did eventually come back. Now the customer noticed that it popped up. Not not every drive, but it, you know when it did pop up, he noticed that the truck was going into eco mode. Um, maybe cylinder deactivation or some crap like that so basically what the customer is doing is just disabling eco mode when he starts his truck every time and that code is staying off so customers happy and I know people want closure on these case studies and sometimes it's hard to do when I'm out in the field and I just do the diagnosis and if the truck is or the car is fixed sometimes I don't hear anything back I do try to follow up so um, there's the follow up on the ramp. I know on the last video people were complaining about lack of closure on the Ford Explorer with the uh, first it was the bank one was cutting out and then it, it was a crank no start and we determined that it was a timing problem. The timing chain jumped three teeth. That was the best I could figure from the pressure transducer waveform. Um, so I would love to do an autopsy on the old engine. I would love to get a known good pressure transducer waveform off of, you know, the truck is back on the road running just perfectly with a replacement low mile engine. Unfortunately, again, this shop was half hour away. They did the engine swap, the core was picked up a day later, and the car was given back to the owner like the next day. So I didn't have a chance to do any of that. But the mechanic said that when he barred the old engine over to get like the torque converter bolts out or whatever the timing chain it sounded like was snapping and jumping teeth on the crank pulley so the tensioner let go or something like that um, he said the timing cover didn't look like it had ever been off or touched so perhaps in you know the truck had lack of oil changes or something and why would a tensioner just fail um, so kind of a mystery but that's why it ended up at the auction so um, that's some closure on the Ford Explorer. So thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.